C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Soon Wan was pushed into a room, she fell to the soft carpet, powerless to resist, she felt like she was on fire. Her beautiful eyes were half closed and everything she looked at was white. Point two voices sounded in the room, Director Hua, you can't tolerate that kind of medicine. I just picked up a woman outside and you can use her to dispel the medicinal properties. Scram, after that, I will take care of this woman and there won't be any problems. Even if you blame me, I can't just watch as you suffer. The door was closed with a bang that Soon Wan could not bear it and stood in place. Suddenly, someone pulled her up from the ground. Get out. As the word go was still stuck in his throat, Hui Yenshin instantly froze, then, he frowned, and his aura became as cold as ice. Damn, who did this to you? Help me, remember, this time it was you who took the initiative, not me who forced you. Soon Wan only felt her lips being ruthlessly kissed, after a long while, Hui Yenshin sat on the side of the bed and untied the ribbon tied around her left wrist, when the scar under the ribbon entered his eyes, his fingers tightened, and he couldn't help but reach out to touch the scar. Because of that. The next day. Soon Wan was awoken by the pain, she suddenly sat up, unable to stop herself from inhaling a breath of cold air due to the fatigue she felt from her body. You're awake. Who? When Soon Wan heard this, he immediately fell into a pair of cold eyes that could freeze a person into an ice sculpture, man. And a strange man, heavens, could it be that last night, but no matter how she thought about it, no matter how much she thought about it, she couldn't remember what happened last night. She only remembered that before losing her mind, Fang Yuan poured her a cup of water and told her to go to Director He's room to get the design draft after drinking the water. Name Ha Soon Wan was stupefied by the man's ice.cold question, his thick brows, which were as black as ink, carried a chilling aura. His long and narrow eyes were filled with a cold light. He looked as if they could explode, but his entire body was emitting an unapproachable indifference, Hui Yenshin frowned, he never liked to talk too much, but, in the end, he still asked him a second time, name. Soon Wan. Soon Wan suddenly had the feeling of being interrogated by a police officer. Age. 20. 4. Address. Ah. No, are we in the wrong? The person who should be asking the questions should be me, right? Soon Wan suddenly regained his senses, his face red, and pulled at the thin blanket on his body, this kind of thing, the one who should be at a disadvantage is a girl, right? I, ask away. I. Soon Wan choked again, a mouthful of stifled air was held in her chest, causing her hair to instantly burst. I just slept for a bit, I was bitten like a dog. In any case, she had even given birth to a child and had slept with a handsome brother, so there was no need to be hypocritical. Dog. Bite it. Hui Yenchen's cold eyes fell on Soon Wan's face, whose dog can bite you so comfortably. Soon Wan was completely speechless, which of his eyes saw that she was comfortable now. Unmarried. Hui Yenchen pouted and asked indifferently. Even though she was unmarried, she had given birth to a child. How would she reply? I'm not married, Soon Wan suddenly came back to reality, you can't be taking responsibility of me, right? Yes. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the Civil Affairs Bureau, with your ID card and household register. Cough. Soon Wan choked on her saliva and coughed until her body trembled, almost choking to death, could it be that just because we mysteriously slept, you are to be responsible for me. Hui Yenshen looked at Soon Wan expressionlessly, but he did not reply and only nodded slightly. Soon Wan looked at him like he was looking at a monster. After clearing her throat, she quickly found her own skirt and put it on as she jumped off the bed from the other side, heading straight for the main door. I let you go. Just as Soon Wan's hand touched the doorknob, a man's cold voice came from behind that S. Yun Wan's hands trembled. This man's unconventional way of playing cards really scared her out of her wits, hair is hair, for the safety of her life, 
she did not hesitate to turn the handle of the door and run out, the huge slam of the door made Hu Yanchen's expression even colder. He inadvertently swept his gaze over the blanket that she had used to wrap herself. He recalled last night. His pupils suddenly contracted, soon Wan, this time, you won't be able to escape. Listen to the full novel at fame tv.info, direct link in the description.